I'm Neil Howells. I work in Patalbert, but I'm from Neath, South Wales. The inspiration uh, coming from this area was on your doorstep. There's lots of uh, abandoned factories, obviously, and closed this, but it's been that which have attracted me. The content of these pictures will be from comic strips to 1950s B-movies, um, science fiction usually. They'll also, you'll also find writing in, in there. That I, I love writing, I love the idea that a word can be understood if you understand that language, but it can also, if you don't understand that language, it can be seen as a drawing. How do you know it's right? You don't really. I think everything, um, if you think about things too much, that's when it goes wrong. And what I look for in a painting is the character of it. So whether you're doing something quite small and quite immediate or something which takes 12 months, like these ones, it's the character of the picture which will, that you're trying to find in the end. The importance of working large is to compete with cinema. The idea that film, which is probably one of the most exciting art forms uh, we've come up with in this uh, last century, that and language, writing, was always in my mind, even when I when I'm think like a painter. I want people to walk into a gallery, I want them to see it on a wall, and I want them to be grabbed, I want it to grab their attention immediately, and then, I can, and then it will suck them in like a good film would. So the, the materials I like to use in, in, in the artwork which I'm doing currently will be various, but they, a lot of them will be household products. So we're talking gloss, we're talking emulsion, we're talking spray paints, we're talking acrylics, crayons, pencils. It's basically what I can get my hands on. How did I get into art? Well, I like to think that art found me. I worked for four years, and so I decided I can't do this for the rest of my life, so I decided to retire quite early at 20, and went back to college, um, where I discovered the only subject they would uh, let me do was A-level art. And then it was given, I was given the option then to say, would you like to go further after, after the course finished? And, uh, I didn't realise uh, that uh, college was an option anyway for me, so when I went to the Cree's office I really just didn't go in, I just pulled out the book that was nearest the door, I think it was A, B, C, anyway I ended up with B and that was for Bath. I like the cover, two lions, I'm a Leo and I went. And there was an inspirational character which I, hadn't really, I didn't, wasn't really aware of. Uh, called Henry Moore and uh, you know the British sculptor Henry Moore and he's and just realizing what he done with his drawings and how he turned his drawings into sculpture and there's that way of thinking about art which led me on this journey. A painting is a contradiction. You, you, you don't want it to be, you don't want the painting to control you. You need to control the painting. It's very important that is, because if you start, if you start being precious about what you do, because not only are you, you writing things, you're writing a chain of thought, not only are you, 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 you're extracting images and you're putting them down, but you're also painting over them. And when you, by painting over something, you're also re-energising re that particular painting. I 
I think it just goes to show that if you're committed to what you do and you believe in what you're doing, that even somebody from Patalbot or maybe even Neath can get your ideas out there. And that's what's important in the end, following your ideas.